exactly is when it hit me that there is racism in church, there is discrimination in church, there is prejudice in church. And I remember even now, the two women used to place their bags in front of them, you know, where they can see them because there is a black woman in church. And when I, I left that church that moment, I was like, mm-mm. I cannot deal with discrimination. I cannot deal with racism. I cannot deal with prejudice out here in them streets. And then I go deal with the same discrimination and nonsense in church where everyone should be equal, where everyone should be welcomed, where everyone should feed at home in the house of the road. I was like, I will never go to church no more. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie, a Kenyan YouTuber here in Italy another sunday another story time video and today being a sunday i wanted to share with you why i don't go to church here in italy can you imagine i've been in this country for 13 years almost and i've gone to church only 10 times or even less <laughs> the last time i was in church was uh, last year may because alisa was having her holy communion and the other time that I was there was uh, when Davi was six months old and Davi is like nine now. So for those people who don't know, I am a Catholic, born and raised. At some point before coming to Italy, I was a choir member at Consolata Shrine in Westland. So when I met this Italian man, I was like, hurrah, Rome, Vatican, Italy, the capital city of the Catholic Church. So when I came and settled here in 2009, I was super excited to go to church, even if I didn't know their language, okay? Because <laughs> it takes you even like three years for you to be able to understand the language. But I was like, church, I will go even if I don't understand the language. So, so the first time I went to church, the second week that I was here in Italy, I realized that uh, I was sitting alone on a bench. Everyone that was coming, they would see me. They would move to the other side of the church. But uh, since I didn't know much about racism, prejudice, and discrimination, I didn't think much about it. I was like, okay, maybe they prefer to sit over there with their friends. They don't know me. Well, lo and behold, I didn't know that uh, people didn't want to sit next to me in church because I was black. I came to realize much later. I went to church for like a month or two. But the crazy thing that happened to me one Sunday where I was like, I am not going to go to church no more in this country. I will pray at home is when uh, one day always sitting, uh, still sitting uh, on a bench by myself. There was an old lady that was uh, uh, sitting on the bench in front of me. You know, as a Catholic, there's that time they say, Kupeana Amani, like you need to greet the person next to you or the person behind you. Why? This show, show, this old woman did not turn uh, uh, so that I can greet her. So I didn't have no one even to greet because I was sitting alone uh, on this bench. So I tapped her on the back like this so that I can greet her. Kupeana, man, if you are Catholic, you know. Why? She, she looked at me like, like, what do you want? I am not going to shake your hand. What do you want? I was like, Jesus Christ. That is when it hit me that there is racism in church, there is discrimination in church, there is prejudice in church. And I remember even now, the two women used to place their bags in front of them, you know, where they can see them because there is a black woman in church. And when I, I left that church that moment, I was like, mm-mm. I cannot deal with discrimination. I cannot deal with racism. I cannot deal with prejudice out here in them streets. And then I go deal with the same discrimination and nonsense in church where everyone should be equal, where everyone should be welcomed, where everyone should feed at home in the house of the road. I was like, I will never go to church no more, no more, no more, no more. But even if I don't go to church, I let my children go to church, okay? I'm not going to tell them, don't go to church, don't go to church. And then when they are much older, they will decide whether they want to go to church or not. By the way, Lisa is a choir member, junior choir member thingy. Davide is going for catechism because uh, in May he will get his first communion. That is the next time I will go to church. <laughs> so my children still go to church. And I'm going to tell you one thing uh, that I realized here. Young people don't go to church. The church, uh, the, and when I'm talking about young people, I'm talking about those teenagers, 20-year-old, 30-year-old. Um, they don't go to church. Usually see children uh, around the age of my, of my kids. Uh, 
And then at some point, I don't know if they lose interest in the church or even them, they realize there's a lot of hypocrisy. Yes, and it is not just in this church. Around the world, there is a lot of hypocrisy with them born again. So it's a scam, okay? I've seen even some family members who are born again, but they are the worst liars who are born again, but they are the worst con men and con women who are born again. But, uh, they, you know, sometimes I always say, it is us who are not born again who will find ourselves in heaven. These born again who live a double life, you know, they are saying, praise the Lord over here. And they are thieving over here. Praise the Lord over here. And they are murderers over here. Praise the Lord over here. And they, 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 they are witches over here. Like, uh, let me pray at home. I know someone will tell me, eh, but uh, you don't go to church uh, because of people. Yes, uh, I, I, I would say I can even go to church and face dis discrimination, prejudice and all that. But I decided, hell no, to the no, to the no, to the no, no. Let me pray at home. I pray when I go to bed. I pray when I wake up in the morning. And I am at peace. And uh, I go to church only when there's a ceremony for my children. And then after that, I am like, no, no. By the way, one time, um, there's this hypocrite that I know for real is, is a hypocrite who goes to church. I asked, I asked him, and why do you go to church? when you have these ideas about uh, black people you say i'm not a racist but uh, so i asked him how can you uh, how can you hate uh, the people that god created the only thing that is different is, is the skin color do you know what he told me he told me as long as i go and confess as a, as a, as a catholic you know going to confess in front of a priest. So for him, he can do whatever he wants. He can be a racist all day long. He can uh, kill all day long. But as long as he goes and confesses, uh, he's okay with that. And I found it to be so crazy. I prefer even someone who doesn't go to church, but they are good people, okay? And the world is full of people who don't go to church, but they are good people. And the church is full of hypocrites, full of murderers, full of uh, people who hate others. Like that woman who didn't want to greet me. What, what, why did she go, come to church? Like, what, what, where, what, why are you in church where the Bible says, uh, love your neighbors, love yourself? Hey, but you guys have noted, the more the town is small, like where I live, the more close-minded people are. Like I've gone to Milan, I've gone to Roma, and there, I don't know, maybe because the, uh, it's full of, of people from all races, you don't notice this kind of discrimination like in those two small towns, okay? And by them moving from Nairobi, a capital city, to like a small town, <laughs> and uh, here where I live, um, we are like... Uh, Two black people, by the way. So, sometimes even uh, if a, a black person passes by and they, they decide to go to church, that will be history. There was a black man in church. There was a black man in church. Like, they should be emb em 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 embraced, you know. Like, yes, welcome, you're one of us. But if a black man goes to church in those two small towns, they'll be look like an alien. Like, who? there's a black man in church like there's a, a, a they, like there's a, a whatever lupo what is lupo <laughs> like what is lupo in uh, in english uh wolf uh, yes lupo is wolf like there's a wolf that has entered the church they'd be like who black man in church who black woman in church like the more the cartoon is small the more close-minded than people so when i realized that uh, and when i saw discrimination in church hey that was strange that in church is where everyone should be welcome. But anywho, tutakutana binguni. God will have a lot of time judging them people. <laughs> I teach my children to love everyone, to respect everyone, to not discriminate anyone because of the color of their skin, the color of their hair. They, if they have a broken tooth, if they are, if they are heavy, heavy, if they are skinny. I teach my children to have an open mind because I know what a closed-minded person can do, you know. Close-minded person is worse than a mandara, okay? They don't see beyond the here. You know, they don't see beyond their nose. <laughs> and uh, before, when I came here, I had so many ideas. I was like, even when I come to Kenya, I'll buy a kayamba, you know. I'll buy them instrument. Uh, and if I get, there's a, there a um, youth, uh, whatever, choir members I join. Lo and behold, I didn't know 
that in that church where people should love each other, like Christ loved the church, is where we face discrimination and prejudice, and this old motherfucking woman will not want to greet me because I am black. So, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about religion. I know it's a very, um, whatever topic, very, very delicate, because religion, politics, and whatever are very de delicate topics. But leave your comments down below and let me know why you go to church, and if you don't go to church, why you don't go to church. And yes, till next time, bye.